All right. Are you guys able to see me now as well? Yes. Excellent. So uh, today we're uh, we're going to go through a couple of things here. Um, Y'all got the uh, the instructions slash um, syllabus thing. So everybody's saying yes. Okay, fine. I'm assuming you all got that. And uh, so you got to get mom and dad to glance over that and uh, sign that. Turn that back in. I think I had somebody turn it in already, but I don't remember which period they're from. Um, <clears throat> and we will uh, get these uh, assignments all up on the on the thing. Uh, we'll start to get that up today. And um, you're going to be able to look at your, your Google Classroom stuff to keep track of everything. Now, the way that we're doing class right now, you're not having to uh, sign in to YouTube or anything like that. You're just uh, looking at the stream here. And so, uh, how does it sound? How does it look? Are you able to see things clearly, hear me clearly? Okay. All right, good. Uh, what we're going to do, oh, uh, another thing is that, we're, that there's been some discussion about um, is that we might have um lectures that would be like to explain the next part might be on tape and we might do uh the going over it we might do live together that's just a that's just a possibility that we're looking at so you got to give me uh, a few days on this and we'll get everything figured out talking to all the different students all day long and trying to get a good idea as to what the best way to do everything is but for today, all I want to do is give you some very short, simple math notes. Real easy, real short stuff, not much. A short assignment. And the thing is, you'll take a picture of it and send it in. And then we'll get it all figured out that, okay, this kid knows how to turn in an assignment and all that stuff. And that you're able to uh, pick up the notes here by watching this. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to switch the camera to uh, down, down. Let's see, let me hit that. Go down. Whoa. That looks not so good. Oh yeah, it's starting to look like a piece of paper. So uh, I'm going to start you. So these are just some quick notes for you to write down. Um, can you see that? Can you see that? Good. It's hard to read. Um, let me see if I can help it. Is that better? Is that better, or is that still hard to read? Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. I prom. Oh, oh, you know what? Um, did that make it better or worse? I added more light. Better. That's better this way. Better. Wor worse now. Better with the thing open. Okay. There you go. Let's open the world out there. Okay. So let's start with
Let's start with addition rules. Okay. So you got to remember that these are addition rules. So if you're adding a positive and another positive, you're just going to add, use positive sign. So this is like kindergarten, right? Six plus four equals ten. Okay, that's just right. So you've been doing that since kindergarten. Can you see that? That's a plus. But I was saying it while I was writing it, so I, I wrote it sloppy. Or there's one. Can we handle that? Five. Okay, so if this is all that's on the first test, you guys are ready for the test, right? Yeah. I mean, if I promise to keep them both positive and just, okay. Well, I don't promise that, but the test is not today either. So let's see. What if you have a negative plus a negative, like negative 3 plus negative 4? Ooh, that's going right through. Okay, so the rule is that you're going to add, use the negative sign. So negative 3 plus negative 4, if you add those together, it's negative, negative 7. <coughs> Negative 2 plus negative 1 is three. negative 3. Okay, simple so far. So these two problems kind of go to that. These two problems go to that. Okay, so far so good? Yes. And we yeah. might have one of each. <laughs> Oh, that was sloppy. Let me rewrite that. Terrible, terrible. There we go. One of each, like negative four plus uh, six or something like that. Okay. <coughs> let's write down the rule. Uh, let's see. We're going to subtract. And use the sign of the larger, larger. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, negative 4 plus 6, what would that come out to be? Approximately 18 and a half. That's a very close answer. That's almost right, but not quite. What is it? 10, negative 10, 2, negative 2. It's got to be one of those. All right, so it's two. <clears throat> We're subtracting and using the sign of the larger. Six minus four is two. The larger number is positive, positive six. All right, uh, let's do uh, five plus negative nine. What's that going to be? Negative 4. I see some people writing the correct answer. Good job. Negative 4. These two examples go with that idea there. Okay, so far so good? This should be review from your uh, class that you had last year, which should be either pre-algebra or accelerated math 7. 
if you were a seventh grader last year. So a lot of you had that class with Mrs. Winters last year, right? Okay. Okay. But you're with us so far, you understand what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Hughes also had... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mrs. Winters or Mr. Hughes. Right, okay. Um, all right, now let's talk about subtraction. And I said rules, but there's only one. <laughs> All right, so we are going to, any subtraction we're going to employ. Same change, change. Then use addition rules. Say what? Are we going to use our book often? Our book? Yes. Yes, we are. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me turn your volume up. Okay, say again. I didn't hear you. What what happened? Is this, oh, there we go. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> uh, uh, there is some nice guy. Oh, yeah, right. We do have a handful of high school students along with our junior high students because of scheduling conflicts but we're all going to use the same book that looks like this wait let me get it out uh, um let's see this book all right So the book you should have already gotten from the school looks like that. Uh, some people are shaking their head. Did you get the, a different book or something? I got a book that said algebra. Well, it should say uh, Glencoe, Algebra 1. Oh, yeah, I got that. All right, and it's got this big, funny-looking thing on it. You should have that book. If you don't have that book, you have to arrange to get it at ASAP. So you don't have Arabelle for one person at least. You don't have that book. Who else doesn't have that book? A bunch of you. I I can't I can't have that book until like October. Like the end of October. Why? Because I'm, I'm, my mom is PSing in October, so we're still in Virginia. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, so like right now it's four thirty because I'm three or four hours ahead of you. Three, indeed. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, because I'm from Michigan, so I know all about time differences. Yay! Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, is there someone... Uh, stand by a second. Let me get my tech support. Post picture of the homework assignment out of the book. Uh, yes. You can do that for me. Okay. Yes. Um, so can I have a student that is volunteering to take, when I assign the homework, that they can 
take a picture of that page and for, uh, and and stick it up on my Google Classroom? Yeah, when you post the assignment, you can post in the comment an image, and I just post in the comments the image of the problems. And the reason why I say that is because I've got this lovely uh, teacher's edition that's got all the answers, and we're going to go over it, but you don't want that before you start. So can somebody take care of that for us in the comments? I can do it. Okay, who said that? Me. Van Norden. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right. Now let's get on to the subtraction. And uh, you may have to do that every day, uh, but, but thank you. Um, <clears throat> subtraction, subtraction, subtraction. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about this subtraction is I recommend if you have a first grade problem, like 9 minus 6, where it's a bigger number minus a smaller number, and it's just, okay, that was easy. If you have that, I wouldn't mess with any of this. I would just do the problem. Because Mr. Horton is not going to say, you have to do it this way or you have to do it that way. Some people do these problems on number lines, for example. They start at 9. They you know, start here at 9, they go left six places, they wind up at 3, and they write it down. Okay, fine. If that's you, then you can do it that way. But when you have a smaller number minus a bigger number, or a negative minus a positive or something, then sometimes it gets pretty confusing. James wants to know if we have to show work. Yes, you will be having to show work, but at the very beginning, some of the work is very easy, like on a problem like this. You have to write it down and write your answer. You don't have to show any work on this problem here. Anyway, um, but a good rule of thumb, James, or anybody else, if you're worried about showing work, <coughs> is look at what I do. And if I write down this and this and this, then that's about what you need to write down, too. Because I'm going to show my work on every problem. But look, I mean, come on, 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay, I, I certainly did write down the problem that is required. And if this was problem number 4, I would have written problem number 4. I would have written down the problem. I would have written down the answer. Maybe I even circled the answer. Oh, that's not 100% required. But sometimes that's a good idea. Okay? Now let's come down here and let's look at a problem like, uh, let's see, we're doing some subtraction. So let me do uh, 5 minus negative 1, okay? So some of you already know the answer to that. Uh, but let's see. So if I do same change change, are there some of you maybe, some of you have never heard of same change change? Anybody? Okay, so y'all have heard about it before. Okay, well, even this should be reviewed no. then. What? No? Okay. I haven't heard about it, now. Coo, 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 coo. That's all right. I'll show you how to do it. I want you to notice that what I'm starting with is a positive 5, a minus, and a negative 1. That's what I'm starting with. So I'm going to do same, change, change. Keep it the same. Change it to a plus because look, it says we're going to wind up with an addition problem. See over here? I'm promising you that when you start with a minus and you do this, you're going to wind up with an addition problem and then you can just go up here and do this. Okay. Same, change, change to a positive one. Now I've got an addition problem. And it's easy. If you don't understand how to do the addition stuff, you're not going to get the subtraction either. So you got to get the addition down first. <coughs> negative 2 minus negative 5. Take a minute and see if you can get the answer to that.
Okay, I got some threes and some negative sevens, so let's see what we're going to do. All right. Okay, thank you. That's enough. I'm going to go ahead and do the problem now. So look what I got. Now, um, asking me about showing my work. Do I have to circle those? If you see, I'm just kind of circling them really lightly. It's not required. I'm just, I, I personally like to do that. Same. Change. Change. So negative 2 plus 5 is 3. <clears throat> okay, does that make sense? Let's do another one. Let's do 5 minus 7. Some people get confused when they're doing subtraction and it's like the smaller number first. Sometimes that's confusing. Here we got some answers. All right, looks like everybody agrees on this one. Okay. So, uh, this problem is a good example about um, you know, showing your work or not, because I'm just going to show you something. If I know that 5 minus 7 is negative 2, and if I don't need to do the same change change to get the right answer, then Mr. Horton's going to be okay with that. But if you're doing same change change, let's take a look at it. I got a 5 minus a positive 7, so it becomes 5 plus negative 7 which is negative 2. So what I'm trying to tell you is that this little step here, I'm going to call that optional. I'm going to call that an optional step because it's not required to do same change change. For example, if you had 5 minus 7 is negative 2, some of you can just see, oh, that would be negative 2. You don't need to go through that extra work to write that down. But when we get into a little bit further into our algebra, there's going to be no choice. There's going to be, you're definitely going to have to be showing your work. But there's a few things, especially at the very beginning, where there's not a lot of work to show. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. All right. Does that make sense? So far, so good? Okay, so what we have left is we've got 20 minutes. And for 20 minutes, you should easily be able to get the homework finished because it's only nine questions just like those. I try to keep it simple and short in here where we do a little chunk, we do something easy, and then we move on. And if we can make the whole thing seem easy, well, then I guess Algebra 1 is easy, right? Okay, but so your homework is page P12. Now, P12 is like chapter zero. It's at the beginning of the book. You're only going to do problems one through nine. You should probably have that done. Oh, I'm not going to sit here and say you have to turn it in by the end of the period. I'm not saying that. In fact, I might not even have the thing up for you to turn it in right away because i got to do that next. But, uh, yes, I'll have that thing set up uh, that you can turn that in when it's ready. Are there any other questions? Okay, well, that was an easy day and uh, good work today. And... Um, We'll answer questions on this tomorrow. If you, if you get stuck or you get some wrong answers, I'll help you a lot more tomorrow with the same stuff. Okay, fair enough. Okay, uh, we will uh, see you tomorrow. Yes, you do, the, you do that homework on pencil and paper. And you take a picture of it and you scan it or email it or something and get it into uh, Google uh, Classroom. Okay? All right.